There is no connection to the Messiah in this chapter at all. It's talking about the troubles that happened to the nation of Israel in the days of destructions. If you're going to read the chapter before, if you're going to read the chapter after, you're going to understand the context. You're going to understand where that chapter is located. But because that someone hundreds of years ago or even 1,500 years ago claimed that that verse, that that chapter is talking about Jesus, it became like a known thing that now that chapter is the evidence for the Messiah. It's not true. Now, there are so many things in the chapter itself, in the verses themselves, that will contradict the fact that you're claiming that that chapter is referred to discuss Jesus. So many contradictions over there that it's embarrassing. So, I don't mind reading for you the chapter and to explain to you every verse in that chapter by the simple explanation of it. And you will see that there is no connection except for your belief. Now, the prophet is mentioning all the nation of Israel as one person and saying to them that they are destined for success even though they're coming from such a broken place. And from their humility, that they were so tortured and burnt, they were humbled and they went very, very low with their mind to hold themselves as nothing. And they felt like the Creator was hiding His face from them. They were hiding their face from the Creator and from people because of their shame. They felt themselves as people with leprosy that are hiding their face not to be seen by others. First of all, how can you say that a verse that is saying that he was sick and that he was wounded and, and that he was uh, tortured is referring to, to him? He was young and he was crucified and killed when he was young and he was healthy. It's not like the verses are talking about a person who suffered for so long and been tortured. I'm, I'm just offering for you the option of thinking on this topic again, instead of just attaching yourself to what you assume that is the truth without checking. Nigash vehu na'ana, vehu na'ana. The people of Israel were suffering and they have been um, tortured and pushed in lies. The nations were lying them and forcing them to do things against their will. And they were suffering and was quiet like the deer, like the animal that is about to be slaughtered um, in the slaughterhouse like the sheep in front of the people who are coming to cut her wool, that she's standing still and quiet, will not open his mouth. And also that it's written that the people of Israel, when they went to their death, been tortured to death, they were not talking, they were not screaming. And you know that in your book it's written that Jesus was screaming he was screaming to Hashem and he was screaming to the people that came after him he said why you came with your swords and sticks to catch me and when he was crucified he cried my God my God or oh Lord why have you left me and as well it's written in the verses that he will be buried with the evil ones. And how can you say that it's written on him that he will be buried with the evil ones if, based on your wisdom, it's written on him that he was buried in a grave of a righteous man from Ramatayim, a place that calls Ramatayim. How can you say that? There are so many contradictions 
here that are showing clearly that there is no reason to take a certain um, method even though it was written long time ago and to base all your life on it when it's so far from the source. I suggest for you just to try to read the source and to see that there is no connection. And again, I don't have no reason and it's not my intention and it's not my hope to change your faith and for you not to believe in Jesus. I, I don't mind and with no hard feelings, with no, no judgments or anger or, or, or any kind of negative thought, I bless you that you will see and enjoy closeness to the Creator, find the right way to attach yourselves to Him in your individual and unique and wonderful way. Have your simple, honest conversation with the Creator, not through no middleman and not th based on no method, just you and God. Talk to Him like you would talk to the Creator of the world and ask Him for guidings, for the right way, for, for, for the straight wisdom and for an inner connection with Him based on your soul, on the light of your true soul, and you shall find it. Because everyone who is calling Hashem with truth um, will be blessed and will enjoy His wisdom and His love. So I bless you that all your prayers will be answered and accepted, all the good ones, and may the light of His unconditional love and His kindness hover upon us all, and heal us all as one. Amen. Can you hear